I'm going to show you how to create an amazing interactive parallax in Scratch in only a few lines of code. According to Google, a parallax is the effect whereby the position or direction of an object appears to differ when viewed from different positions through the viewfinder and lens of a camera. In other words, it's kind of just a moving image. For example, this is a night parallax I made about a year ago and it got 2,700 views. The craziest part is this is all the code. Alright, so now that you know what a parallax is, let's get started. Instead of a night parallax, we're going to make a sunset one. Go into the backdrop and draw a light orange rectangle like this one that fills the entire screen. Next, let's delete Scratch Cat and draw a new sprite. Label this foreground one. Draw a flat black rectangle at the bottom and use the reshape tool to make it a little curvy. Now, add the following code. One green flag clicked and forever loop. Go to mouse x divided by 10 and mouse y divided by 10. Now run the program and you'll see that the sprite somewhat follows the mouse. These two numbers are what make the sprite move more or less. A higher number will make the sprite move less and a lower one will make it follow it more. Finally, add a go to the front block right here. Okay, duplicate the sprite and set the number to 15 instead of 10. In the costumes tab, make the shape a little gray, move it up a little and flip it horizontally. Under the go to front block, add a go backward one layer. Run it again and you'll see that the foregrounds overlay nicely on each other. Duplicate the sprite again and name it birds. Set the number back to 10 and change the go back one layer to go back two layers. Next, completely delete the rectangle and draw two slanted lines. Use the reshape tool to curve them and place them together to make them look like birds. Highlight both lines and copy and paste to create another bird. Rotate the birds as you wish. Almost done. Finally, for the last time, duplicate this sprite again. Set the number to 4D and change the go back to 3. Delete the birds in the costume tab. Hold shift while using the circle tool to create a perfect circle. Center the circle to where the second foreground is touching it a little. If there's an outline, make it transparent and change the color of the circle to yellowish orange. Highlight the circle and copy and paste it. Set the color type of the circle to greedy and adjust the color so it seems like a hazy glow. Enlarge it and center it so it's covering the first circle like this. Finally, click back when you're done. Believe it or not, you've actually finished making your first parallax. Feel free to adjust the numbers you see fit. The numbers I use are just examples of how the code works. There are so many different types of parallaxes, which is why I suggest you be creative with the idea. If you like this video, please subscribe. We're trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and if we get there, I'll eat a sandwich. Plus, there's so much content to come, my channel's just getting started. And as always, thank you for watching and happy coding.